Welcome to the next session of Hansel's Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a composite wall for transient thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on transient thermal. We are going to assume two walls. So I will go to first engineering data and choose two different materials for both the walls. Engineering data sources. I'll go to general materials. You can see structural steel is already chosen. So let me choose copper alloy as the other material. Then I'll go to project, update project. Next I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry. Units, I choose millimeter, xy, look at, sketching, I'll sketch a rectangle and give it dimensions. Say h1 is 60 and b2 is 150, extrude, the thickness is say 25mm generate. Now I want to draw another wall so I'll choose this face. The face is selected. New plane. Generate. Look at. I'll go to sketching. Rectangle. I'll randomly draw rectangle and then I'll go to constraints. I'll choose coincident. Select two lines at a time which you want to make coincident. So the rectangle is made. Now I'll go to extrude. You can see here. I will choose add frozen instead of add material because I want to give two different materials to the walls. And the depth I can keep as 25 or let me make it as 15 mm. You can choose the dimension that you have to use. So this is now made. This is my simple geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry and there are two solids here. For the first solid, the material is structural steel. For the second one, let me choose copper alloy. Next I'll go to mesh. I'll right click insert method. I'll select the entire body. Method I will choose as tetrahedrons update. Here I'll just change the size to fine and update. You can see meshing has been done. This is a tetrahedron type of mesh. Next I'll go to analysis settings and I'll insert convection. Now let me give convection to this second body. You can see the material is copper alloy. So I'll give the value of convection for copper alloy as 60 watt per mm square degree Celsius. The ambient temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. I'll go to initial temperature and let me choose the value as 150. Next I'll go to analysis settings and number of steps let me give it as 15. You can see the start time is 1 second and the end time is 15 seconds. Next, I'll go to solution and insert thermal temperature. I'll go to solution and sort. So on this analysis that we have done, you can see this is the temperature profile over the body. 
since the second material was subjected to convection you can see it has cooled down faster the initial temperature was 150 degrees celsius for both the material but over a period of time that is we have given as 15 seconds you can see that the first body has a higher temperature and the second body is showing lower temperature because it has lost more heat due to convection here you can see a graph of temperature versus time and these are the minimum and maximum values which you can see to the right so we will just uncheck the minimum values and we will only see the maximum values here now this is one type of result obtained you can obtain more type of results before that we would add one more thing here that is in analysis settings i will insert convection to the first one now let's choose convection only for this phase since the material is structural steel, I have chosen the value of film coefficient as 35 watt per mm square degree Celsius. Ambient temperature is 20 degrees and here it is 22 degrees. Okay, so I will just change this to 22 as well. Such that the ambient temperature for both remains the same. Now we will go back to solution and solve again and see what do we get as a result. Now let's check the temperature. Now look here. The same justification which I gave you before applies for this result as well. You can see here this phase was subjected to convection. Hence it has lost more heat. But these sides are still red or they are showing more temperature because of lack of loss of heat. You know they are losing heat slowly. But these surfaces have a convection coefficient. So they are losing heat by convection to the ambience. Now let's give more results, thermal, total heat flux and we want to insert directional heat flux. Now for us the thickness is important so we will go along this axis that is Z. I'll change this to Z axis, solution and solve. Let's check the total heat flux, you can see here. It is varying with respect to time because it is transient analysis that you are doing. With respect to time, you will see a variation of the total heat flux over the body. There are various iterations, 251 iterations formed over here. And with those points, you can see this kind of a graph. Next, we will go for directional heat flux along the z-axis. You can see the maximum value is shown. And the rest of the values can also be seen with the help of this color. Now there are two graphs here again. Let's choose the maximum one and we can get the values. This is heat flux versus the time. So your heat flux is changing with respect to time which shows that your analysis is of transient type. That means a factor is dependent on time. The factor here is your heat transfer rate. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this numerical. If you have any doubt, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.